So what I'm going to accomplish today is to play hooky from work because I asked my boss and he's a pretty cool dude and he said, yeah, go ahead and take Friday off. Mike has a friend coming into town. So he suggested that uh, we take him for a ride. So that's what we're gonna do. It's Friday, March 3rd, Jack's coming by and we're gonna take off and uh, go to the rendezvous point on the east side of town. Let's get ready before Jack gets here. On today's ride, we're going to go to Coyote Springs, all the way around to Moapa, and then all the way around to Overton, where we're gonna have lunch at Chris Angel's Breakfast, Lunch, and Pizza Cafe. And then from there, we're gonna take the Overton Highway back to Vegas, where I told you before, this is one of my favorite roads to ride. So it's gonna be a nice ride. We're gonna be out maybe about three or four hours and we're gonna see some great scenery and eat some great food. Let's ride. I think Mike really likes this route because if you remember my first ride after my ankle injury, this is the route we took to Overton. It's a nice route though, I'll give him that. We didn't know what the police involvement was here, but with all that tape, looks like it might have been a homicide or something very serious. Cheyenne and Nellis, just to uh, say hello to my friend Randy. How's it going? Hey, how you doing? Hey, I'm Randy. Good. Hey, Randy, I'm Joe. Joe. You got Mike. Love this car. If, if this was in the shop and I bought this, this would be my buddy. Hey, I'm Randy. Jack Mark. Yeah, how you doing? Uh, well, Mike, Mike helped me do some work on the bike ah. a couple weeks ago, so I got him a little gift. Oh, bottle? Oh, not a bottle. And then, happy birthday to you. Oh, thank you, sir. That is awesome. Oh, yeah, a little airpods. Is this your birthday? <laughs> it was uh, last week. Oh, well, happy birthday. Well, we would not have happy birthday. I just had an out-of-body experience over there with the gas pump. What happened? You saved me $500. It took you about 10 minutes to fill up. I had to have to do it once I was doing it. I was sitting there and all of a sudden, boom, uh -huh. all over the place. And the, uh, that little lip that was right there, uh -huh. it was broken from the thing and it would come off. I had to take the little lip and it was still going, got it all over my bike. Uh -huh. I had to go, boom, uh -huh. and then let it go. I saw a guy catch on fire. He's riding along on his bike and he is streaming like five foot flame. He doesn't know, man. He's just having a nice day. You're on fire, the guy. Oh, it starts to slow down. Now the, the flames, flames are coming are up. Yep. Up. yep. Dumps it. And fuck it. Well, I think about that sometimes. Like, well, on that note, let's do? go right. Do they have one in there? I don't know. I'm going to ask. It says no public restroom on the door. I didn't <laughs> even see that. Wow. I'm ready if you guys are. Works for me. Mike and Randy have known each other for about 18 to 20 years, they said. So Randy was out riding um, from Idaho and he just wanted to stop by in Vegas and ride with us. So this is the ride we took him on. Randy turned out to be a great dude. I'd ride with him anytime. This is us riding into Overton. Say 
say if Harleys are so great, how come you have to rebuild your engine every year in yeah. winter time? Uh, chuckles when the Harleys talk about how powerful the machines are. Yeah, yeah okay, if you want to spend $15,000 to get close to what my bike has, yeah. then go right ahead. The Challengers aren't cheap. No. no. You get and, your money's worth with the yeah, Challenger. For 123, right? It's 123 stock. It's 128 torque, right? Yep. Something like that. Yep. Right? Of course, after riding and eating lunch, a little bit of Harley Davidson trash talking. Not too much, just a little bit. To start our ride. Now we're heading back over to the Overton Pass with all the turns and the curves. It's a great ride. is into the northeast side of town where we come in from Lake Mead and we go into the east side of Las Vegas. There are many other avenues that we could take other than this turn. We could have kept going and went through the Lake Mead and got out at the lakes of Las Vegas. Or we could have kept going past that and came out through Boulder City at the very end of the road. But uh, this is just the first turn to get out of the Lake Mead area. Right down this street is where my parents live. Hey mom, hey dad. As we say goodbye to Jack after this ride, this was our ride to go around Moapa Valley down to Overton and back through Overton Pass. It was a great ride and um, met a great dude, Mike's friend Randy. Ride with us anytime. See you.